Hey and welcome. Hey and welcome back to Riley's Library. Today I'm going to show you how my February reading journal turned out and my March setup. I also need to fill in a book that I just read because this is coming a little late so I've been using it already and so I'll show you that as well. So if you're interested in taking a look at this month's theme and setup for my reading journal just stick around. my spreads so we're gonna go over the February spreads first to see how it looks now that it's filled out um, so here's my spreads and on my TBR I ended up reading none of them I read half of Pride and Prejudice so I put half there but it's fine it, I read other things I actually didn't read that much this month I did read most of the days but it was really slow going I only read six books and in my genres I read mainly romance some fantasy and like a mystery or two and then this is what the spreads looked like filled out. So again, it's the same setup as last time. And then here I put the Shadowhunter reading order since I'm rereading them just as like a quick view. And then this is March. So I did Clockwork Angel, Little Women, Bunny, In the Lives of Puppets, Legends and Lattes, City of Fallen Angels, Daughter of No Worlds, that's our book club read. And then Magnolia Parks. I'm probably gonna read the whole series. Clockwork Prince and City of Lost Souls. That's my TBR. I've already read Clockwork Angel and Bunny. I've actually read City of Fallen Angels now. I'll check that off in the end. And I'm currently reading Lives of Puppets. That's an arc. Um, but I basically just used a couple of my Amazon stickers. And then I will link the Etsy shop that I get most of my stickers from. Um, but that's what I kind of used here. And then I drew little Polaroids with flowers in them as well to decorate the spread. Um, so that's kind of how March turned out. And then we have my stats page. Um, I've already started filling out Days Red, but I still have a lot more that I've read since I filmed this that I need to fill in. And then I left space again for the books I read, the pages I read, and my favorite book. And then I also added the stickers again. Um, that one's from Amazon. Most of them are from the same place. I get them all on Etsy. I made another pie chart for genre. And again, I'm tracking my socials this month just because I'm kind of interested to see what they look like. And then I've already filled out a couple of spreads. I went way more basic this month. So um, not a lot of color. I just, I needed something plain and quick. So I do need to fill out one spread for City of Fallen Angels. So we're going to do that. I just write in the dates. And also I will write in genre, pages, and my star rating. And then I will make room for just like a little quotation box where I will put a quote from the book and then I write a little bit about it. So this one was just like super simple. All I did was use this brush pen and a um, ballpoint pen to fill it out. I try to print out my book pages in batches, which is why I have these little squares with pencils. Um, filled in there because I when I go at the end of the month and print them out I print them all out at once and the last three fell into I was printing them out when I printed out the books for last month and that's the only reason they're already in there but I will eventually go back and paste in all of the books I just like to do it all at once because it's easier and it saves paper so I read City of Fallen Angels from March 7th to um, March 10th. I started it one week and finished it the next. It's a YA fantasy. So I'm filling that in. And it is 425 pages. And I gave it five stars. I'm giving all of the Shadowhunter books five stars because that's what I originally rated them in high school. So I'm just leaving the writings I rated them in high school. I'm not changing them. So the quote I used was, hearts are breakable and I think even when you heal, you're never what you were before. Um, I think this is Isabel talking to Simon. Um, this is a big Simon book. I just jotted down a couple of thoughts about it and we are moving on to the next one. That's kind of how I leave it.
I will say City of Fallen Angels is a lot slower than the other books so far in this series and I kind of forgot that. Um, so I did read it pretty quick but I didn't feel sucked in the way I have with the other books. But I know it's going to get fast going on here on out. But that's it. That's all for my March spreads. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I hope I maybe could inspire you a little bit for your own reading journal or if you're starting one. I definitely recommend it. I love it. And it's like so much fun. It's like a little treat to be able to go write down and do a book in, a, in the journal every time I finish one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.